Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow Version, the Special Pikachu Edition. This is Omega X5000, and yes, that actually is the subtitle for this game, the Special Pikachu Edition. I know so, because I'm actually looking over at the player's guide that specializes on this game particularly, and it says right underneath the Pokemon Gotta Catch Em All logo, Special Pikachu Edition. In fact, the only thing on the cover aside from that is a picture of Pikachu with electricity coming out of its cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> Kinda wonder how that would've settled with people had later third versions of Pokemon games been released as, like, the special such-and-such -such edition. <laughs> that probably would've been a bit awkward <laughs> with some Pokemon. Okay, second town, and now we're in Pewter City! And it's somewhat grayscaled. And here's an interesting thing here. A Jigglypuff. But first this guy. <sighs> when Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too. And... Uh... Okay, Pikachu's pretty happy. Listen to this! Oh, well, that was pretty nice. Send, uh, Pikachu? Why are you not following me? <laughs> His icon also disappears! There isn't any response, because he fell asleep in the Pokemon Center, so he's actually independent from you right now. However, it also means you can't deposit him in the PC if you ever wanted to for whatever reason. But he's just stuck there. <laughs> Pokemon Centers are wonderful, they heal Pokemon completely. Even conditions like sleep, burn, poison, and others are cured. And others being... freeze and paralyze. What? Team Rocket is at Mount Moon? Huh? I'm on the phone! Scram! Okay... Well, let's just wake Pikachu up. <laughs> that- <laughs> And he's awake! Nice. <laughs> That's just something that I always like doing. It's just have Pikachu fall asleep, and then... Wake him up afterwards, after wandering around without him. Although I think if you try to leave the building while Pikachu is still asleep there, I think it, the game actually prevents you from doing so by saying something along the lines of, Wait, you can't leave yet! Take Pikachu with you! Or something. You know, I, next time I go to the uh, Pokemon Center, I'm gonna check that out. Just to make sure. Uh, how much more experience does Mankey need to get to level 10? Oh, 11! <laughs> so, uh, anyway, last time we finished up the Viridian Forest, Metapod finally evolved into a Butterfree, and I caught a Pidgeotto! Oh, wow, uh, Rattata, haven't seen you in a little while. I was actually kind of glad for that. But let's test out this new low kick. It's a one-hit KO! Nice. Nice. Uh-huh. Okay. So, now, I think I'll swap out to... Hmm. I guess Thundro, since he's actually lacking in the level department right now. And this will be the only way I can get level ups for Thundro for a little bit. And hey, it's a female Nigoran. Huh. 
And it's kind of weird seeing a Nidoran here, because especially after I've used both a Nidoran, both of the Nidorans in previous LPs. Also, there's a whole bunch of Pokemon in this game that are just flat out gone. As in, you can't find them anywhere, not even through in-game trades. And some of them were ones that I actually used as party members in some of my previous LPs, like uh, Magmar, Jinx, uh, Electabuzz. All three of those you cannot find in the wild or through in-game trades. They're just non-existent. Oops. So used to it being switched up in battles. Uh, I instinctively went to the... down there to switch. Okay, another couple of battles for Thundro and he might be able to level up. Hopefully. Maybe after this battle, but I don't think so because I don't think Nidorans give out that much experience. Uh... Okay, <laughs> one more battle. And it's a red attack. These things appear in a lot of places. In fact, wow, that yeah, actually outlasted the Thundershock from a Pokemon five levels stronger than it. You know what? How many areas does Rattata appear in? That's a lot of places. And those Wow, I just noticed those icons that are blinking on the map resemble a piranha plant from Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional or not, but that's what it looks like. How about Pidgey? Wow, just as many! Possibly even more. Jeez. <laughs> okay! Uh, maybe one more bite. Er, <laughs> one more bite. <laughs> one more battle. Hopefully, this will get me closer to a level up, because I sure need one. Okay, 73. That's probably like two or three more battles. Um, phew. you know what, after this battle, I'm gonna go straight to the gym, after, like, not straight to the gym, but to the Pokemon Center to heal up, and then straight to the gym. Okay, yeah, that wasn't enough to, to level up. Trainer tips, any Pokemon that takes part in battle, however short, earns experience. Yep, that's why I swapped out a few times in the Varane Forest. There aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here. They're all like bug catchers, but Pewter Jim's Brock is totally into it. I wonder, does the guy that's in this garden say anything different because I have a Pikachu behind me? Psst, do you know what I'm doing? No, I'm spraying Rapel to keep Pokemon out of my garden. Uh, sure, that's right, it's hard work. I don't think there's any hidden items here. Pewter City is Stone Gray City. Yep, that, and that definitely shows in the area's color palette. It's very gray and blue for some reason. I don't know why it's blue as well. Pokemon learn new techniques as they grow, but some moves must be taught by the trainer. Ah! Pokemon become easier to catch when they're hurt or asleep. That's not a sure thing. Really? Because my Pidgeotto would say otherwise. Because as soon as I paralyzed it, it got caught. Okay, time to check out whether or not I actually can leave without Pikachu when it's asleep. Although, <laughs> if you need to heal up and Pikachu's asleep and standing in front of where I'm standing, 
then you can't heal up until you wake it up. I don't know why I paused there, but okay. Oh! Okay. Pikachu just wakes up immediately. Alright, I thought it would prevent me from exiting for some reason. I guess I was just thinking, remembering something else. Um... Notice, these have been stealing Pokemon fossils at Mount Moon. Please call Pewter Police with any info. Did you check out the museum? Um, no. Really, you absolutely have to go. Oh, I thought the other guy was gonna do that. Oh, wait, no, never mind. This is for something different. It's right here. You have to pay it again, but it's worth it. See you around. And he just disappears there. Hold on. Is there anything over here? Because I know in the remakes, Fire Red and Leaf Green, there's an item hidden around here. Nope, there's nothing here. That was probably a waste of time. Oh well, time to head south. And as I say that, I head east. You're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challengers. Follow me! Wow, this is kind of odd seeing three characters following in a set path like this. It's almost like something out of Earthbound. Got the right stuff, go take on Brock! And he just hops the fence. That's the only explanation I have. Let's see, what does the sign have to say? Pierce Pokemon Gym, Leader Brock. Wing Trainers, Blue. Of course. Hi, I can tell you have what it takes to become Pokemon Champ. I'm no trainer, but I can tell you how to win. Let me take you to the top. No. It's a free service, so let's get happening. And <laughs> so he does so anyway! The first Pokemon out in the match is set at the top of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of Pokemon matches could be made easier. Yeah, speaking of which, I actually should do that. Just in case. This guy you can actually completely ignore. And just go straight to Brock. But, there's also something kind of stupid there, because if you beat the gym leader without taking out any of the trainers in the gym, they won't accept your challenge anymore, because you've already beaten the gym leader. I guess probably because they think that you're too strong for them to face, or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but that's the best reason that I can come up with. And it, they'd probably just think it would be pointless to face someone stronger than them. Because it would serve you no challenge. So that's why I'm going to challenge him right now. Stop right there, kid! You're still late years from facing Brock! I don't know what's up with this sudden accent, but whatever! And probably one of my favorite trainer sprites in the game. And we've got a Diglett! And I actually don't need... Oh, it <laughs> beat me to a punch of scratching. Probably because it's one of the fastest ground-type Pokemon in the game. Second only to its evolved form. Which I'm not going to be using in this game. Unlike previous LPs. And not a single rock-type in this kid's party. Odd, but okay. What am I doing? I should be using moves that I have the same type of attack bonus with. And that can cause him to flinch. Why did I miss? Uh-oh. Okay, that's good. And he's out of here. Nice! And that stops the beeping, too. Okay. Darn! Light years isn't time, it measures distance! And he got it! You're pretty hot, but not as hot as Brock! Well, I'm gonna help him cool down a bit after I heal up my Pokémon. 
I don't feel like using my potions just yet. I'm gonna save those for the, uh, for Mount Moon. Because I'm probably gonna need them there. Or at least when I'm deep enough into the mountain to warrant it. Because there's a Pokemon Center right outside of the place as well. Now that I think about it, there's plenty of Pokemon Centers in this game. At least very early on, then they become a bit more spread out as the towns get more spread out. But still, whatever. Time to go to the... Almost said Viridian Gym, but this is Pewter City. The Stone Gray Town. It's rumored that Clefairies came from the moon. They appeared after Moonstone fell on Mount Moon. Grammar errors aplenty. The rock solid Pokemon trainer. Well, let's just hope that the only things rock solid are his Pokemon. If you know what I mean, and if you do, stop thinking that. So, let's get ready for a rock wrecking battle. That probably could have been worded way better. Well, it looks like Pikachu has the utmost comf <laughs> confidence in me. So let's begin this gym battle right now. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then. Show me your best. Now then, unlike in the show, you can't attack the fire extinguishing sprinklers on the ceiling to weaken his Pokémon for your Pikachu to attack with. Yeah, that was a very weird way for Ash to win that battle. But here, I'm gonna win this legitimately. By kicking him really low and- Okay! I wasn't expecting a one-hit KO! Uh, let's keep going, Mankey! <laughs> You're on top of the world here! And... okay... Oop! Wow! <laughs> I'm glad that Screech failed, because that is an ear-grating sound. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Okay! <laughs> I thought it was gonna try to screech again. <laughs> that would've been terrible and... Flawless victory! How do I keep getting these flawless victories against Brock? Okay! I took you for granted. As proof of your victory, here's the Boulder Badge. One of the only two badges that you'll ever receive in the middle of the battle itself. The only other one is the Earth Badge at the end of the game. Or near the end. That's an official Pokemon League badge. It spares Pokemon become more powerful. The Technique Flash can now be <laughs> used anytime! <laughs> and I got 1188 for winning. That's quite a lot of change. Wait, take this with you! And TM34, that is... Okay, so when you use one to teach a new technique, pick the Pokémon carefully. It contains Bide. Pokémon will absorb damage in battle, and then pay it back double. So... Nice. Nice. I didn't take any damage during that entire battle. That was amazing. And now Brock's face is replaced with the badge. As will be the case with all the other gym leaders. And including... Alien-faced Blaine. Oh, I forgot to check Pikachu right after the battle. Ah. Because I think he would have done like a victory pose had I checked it. Ah, I gotta remember that for the next gym battle. Should I heal up? I don't think I should, because I didn't take any damage. Um, let's see. Good things can happen if you raise Pokémon diligently, even the weak ones. 
A shady old man got me to buy this really weird fish Pokemon. It's totally weak and it cost 500 pokes. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... I don't see anything that I need. I think I'm going to not buy anything from you. I didn't see anything that I wanted at all. Oh, and by the way, if I encounter a Clefairy in Mount Moon, I will catch it. Even if I'm not going to use it in battle. I'm just going to catch it for the sake of catching it, because it's so rare. Now, let's see. Uh, I guess I could go to the museum next. I got some time to spare, but not enough for another few battles. Uh, let's see, I guess... Oh, I didn't check out this house. Oop, ah. Our Pokémon's an outsider, so it's hard to handle. An outsider is a Pokémon that you get in a trade. It grows fast, but may ignore an unskilled trainer in battle. If only we had some badges. Niran, sit! Niran, sit! Niran, sit! Okay, that's the only thing you're telling it. I have no idea which one that is. Off the top of my head. But I can check right now. Okay, that, it was the male Nidoran. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go check out the museum. Doesn't, wait, is there anything up here? I feel like there's a hidden item around here. It just feels like th there should be one here. I don't know why, but I just have a feeling that there should be an item here. Uh, when I get the item finder, I'll come back here and check again. Especially after I've got the cut HM. 50 pokes for a child's ticket, sure. Oh, that's just a decoration on the wall. That is one magnificent fossil. And it's a skeleton of Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl fossil, a primitive and rare Pokemon. We'll even be getting one of those later on. Uh, okay, I can only check that one there, yeah. And a Kabutop skeleton! Kabutop's fossil, a primitive and rare Pokemon. That's the same thing that you said about the Aerodactyl. We have a space exhibit now. Moonstone? What's so special about it? It evolves four Pokemon in this game. July 20th, 1969. The first lunar landing. I bought a color TV to watch it. That's kind of sad when you think about it, because at the time, the lunar landing was only broadcast in black and white, so he got a color TV for a monochrome broadcast. Yeah, kind of a wasted investment for that purpose, but hey, at least you got color TV afterwards. Meteorite that fell on Mount Moon. Moonstone? Uh, oh, I thought there was another exhibit here. <laughs> I want a Pikachu, it's so cute. I asked my daddy to catch me one. I'd like to get that Pikachu off you, but it's too attached to you. Yep, it definitely is. <laughs> it just blinks at me. Space Shuttle Columbia. I think in the remakes, they actually just removed the word Columbia from it because of a tragic incident where the space shuttle blew up and everyone on board died. Yeah. I think it was for the better that they removed the subtitle from that in the remakes so that it wouldn't be in bad taste. I already did. See ya. So, uh, 
I got five minutes to spare. What else can I do? Well, I could turn the screen green! Hold on. Okay, gray, green. 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 <laughs> I'm easily amused. I hope this isn't giving anyone seizures. Because that's a terrible thing to do. Um, is there anything down here? I don't think so. Oops. You looked at me, didn't you? No, I didn't. You looked at me. Oh well, she only has two Pokemon, and it's a Pidgey as well, so this is easy pickings for Thundro. Don't worry, I will be sending out my Pidgeotto pretty soon to catch up in levels. Yeesh. That did quite a bit of damage, actually. And an unnecessary super critical. That was really over the top, Thundro. Uh, you know what? Speaking of Pidgeotto, let's send him out here. Pidgey versus Pidgey. <laughs> oh wow, first I was doing that for Caterpie versus Medify, now Pidgey versus Pidgeotto. Jeez. And we're at the same level! And <laughs> normally it would take a Pidgey nine more levels just to evolve, but nope, I got one nine levels early. Because they're available at level nine in the Viridian Forest. Sure, they only appear 1% of the time, but... Yeah, that's it, actually. Eh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Quit staring if you don't want to fight. Okay. I think I'm gonna swap out Thundro for Pidgeotto for these next few battles. Hey, I met you in Viridian Forest! And a bug catcher with three Pokémon! I don't think I remember any bug catchers having three Pokémon in the Viridian Forest. In fact, uh, I know I'm bringing up the remakes a lot, but in the remakes, <laughs> every trainer has their own designated name, so I don't, and I don't think they repeat names for any of the trainer classes, so I, that pretty much makes what this guy is saying a flat-out lie, since you don't see any characters with the same name as him. Unless he was one of those trainers that was waiting for his friends. That's the only explanation that I can think of. Oh, and speaking of Weedle, well, I was speaking of Weedle earlier in this video, or probably the last video, but here it is, the very first Weedle of the game. <laughs> Took long enough, especially considering... I, I don't remember. Did any of the trainers in Red Blue have a Weedle? At least in the Viridian Forest, is what I mean. Uh, I'm gonna keep going <laughs> with Pidgeotto. It needs some experience, and this is the best way to get it. Okay, doing good, doing good. Why is that Caterpie level 10? In fact, why was that first Caterpie level 10, and why was that Weedle level 10? You could have had a bee drill and two Butterfreeze. Seriously, that's like a crime against evolution. In fact, that Caterpie was probably crying that it didn't want to be a Caterpie anymore, or it probably wanted to be a Butterfree by this point. I mean, seriously, you're just tormenting your Pokémon by not letting them evolve and become stronger. Seriously, dude, that's just messed up. There are other kinds of Pokémon than those found in the forest. Well, yeah. Anyway, uh... Oops. <laughs> 
Sorry, Pikachu, I'm leaving you. Bye! <laughs> and he just walks over the ledge. <laughs> yeah, well, next time on Pokemon Yellow, we're gonna go further on through Route... Uh, I think this is Route 3. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Route 3. But next time on Pokemon Yellow, we'll continue going through Route 3 and hopefully enter the ma the <laughs> Mount Moon. I keep on tongue-tying myself. I don't know why, but I just do. See you next time!